Good morning everyone, this is Mel Soul. Today is October the 19th, which is a Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, we talk about course management. How to manage your game on the course to maximize your scoring potential. So today, I decided to do this tip after watching the European Tour and Tommy Fleetwood was on the side of a bunker. He had to stand inside the bunker, but his ball was outside the bunker. And I was very interested in the way that he managed that shot before he hit it. So you can learn from this when you're watching golf on TV and you see these guys going through their little pre-shot routines and talking to their caddy. Watch carefully because you can learn a lot. These are the best players in the world. Watch what they do. So what Tommy was doing we know on a sloping lie like this, the tendency is going to be to pull the ball. So start off, he knows he's got to aim to the right. So what he would do, he didn't want to do his practice swings too close to the ball here because he's sitting in the rough and if he makes a swing, he could move that ball. He could accidentally move the ball. There could be a little runner or something going and he hits it and the ball moves, it would be a penalty. So he made sure that he went back here, but he kept the same conditions. He kept exactly the same slope and he did his practicing back here and he tried to determine, you know, where does he have to grip the club to feel the most comfortable? So if the ball was up here, obviously I'd grip it shorter. If the ball's down there, the ground's above, I'm going to grip this about an inch and a half shorter. So if I'm going to grip the club shorter, I need to take one extra club. So if I've got a eight iron into the green, I want to take a seven iron because I'm gripping it shorter. And then I'm going to do a couple of practice swings in the rough here to feel the resistance of the club through the grass. What is it? What does that feel like? So I feel confident. Now the last thing I want to take into consideration, and in this case, Tommy Fleetwood did not take this into consideration and so he ended up on the green but a long way from the flag. The flag was at the very back. When the ball is in the rough, a lot of the times it's still sitting up. So if I take my finger, I can still slide my finger under the ball. This ball is sitting fairly high in the grass. If I make a swing and I let the club come down to the bottom, that ball is going to hit the top part of the club. When it hits the top part of the club, you're going to lose a huge amount of distance. When it comes off there, it hasn't got the force you want. It's going to kind of balloon a little bit. You're going to come up short. So I want to also be aware when I'm swinging here and I'm gripping the club short, that I'm swinging just through the top of the grass. I don't want to hit make a divot. I just want to go through the top of the grass like that. The final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to aim to the right because I know this ball is going to go to the left quite a lot. So I'm going to aim maybe 30, 40 yards to the right, come around, set up, and now just from here I'm going to try and make my normal swing. And that ball went left of the target. I felt if I, in fact, if I look at the grass mark, it's right in the middle of the club face, so I hit a nice shot. That is good course management. Tommy Fleetwood almost had good course management. He didn't take into consideration that the, the grass was, the ball was sitting up nice and he caught it at the top of the club. So pay attention, you're going to score a lot better if you do.